Hey, what's up, guys? Have you ever been out on a... What? Gray is not a good color on this backdrop. One second. There. That's much better. Okay, so have you ever been out on, like, a photo trip, and you get back, and you're like, I have 500 images to go through. I don't know how to do this quickly. Well, in this video, we're talking about how to quickly organize your photos so that you can edit those and don't get a backlog of edits that you're having to slog through later. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys and welcome into the channel where I help you improve your landscape photography through infield and post-processing tutorials as well as gear reviews, all online videos. So if you're into landscape photography, if you want to get better, consider subscribing to this channel. Now in this video specifically, like I have a ton of backlogged images that I had to go through on this most recent trip that I took out to Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And like, I wanted to quickly go through them because you know, you have clients that you have waiting on your images, or if you're just a hobbyist, you just wanna get those out on like Facebook or Instagram, show your travels. Well, this is how you quickly do that. This is the fastest and easiest way to go through your images logically and efficiently. So let's get into the computer screen. Basically all you have to do, like these are some of my photos from the Smokies this past trip that I took. And like, you know, here's a whole bunch of this blue heron that came and sat by our campsite. Like, have you ever done that? You go for one thing and like you see something else that catches your attention. And then the next thing you know, you have 200 images of a blue heron sitting in your library and you're like, what do I do with this? Well, this is gonna help you figure out how to quickly go through those photos. So back to the computer screen, I mean, so many photos here. If you see in this catalog, I have 255 photos from this one day that I quickly need to go through. So you can see like sequences and where they start. So here's a sequence where it starts. I'm just gonna double click on this and zoom in. And then I'm just going to quickly scroll through these by hitting the right arrow key. When I see one that I like, let's say, I don't know, I like this one a lot, the light was really cool. I'm gonna hit my one key and it's gonna set that rating to one. Then I'm gonna quickly scroll through like all of these in this sequence. If I like a light, if I like something that the bird was doing, you know, pretty cool image of him standing on the other side. I'm gonna hit the one key again. Then I'm just gonna scroll through these. If you know like you didn't like something in this sequence or you wanna to switch to a different one, just double click on your screen to get through the next sequence. And you can just scroll down here. Okay, I'm done with this bird. Don't want any from there. Here's one where I have this really cool uh, light pattern where the light we're hitting like the very tops of these spruce and pine trees on the mountain ridges in the Smokies. And I use a telephoto lens to like compress that down and really get those stacked mountain ridges dialed in. I can quickly go through these as well. Now I've already edited one of these, so I know it looks really good, but I can just scroll through these and be like, boom, that one looks cool. One key, hit that rating to one. Now, once you're done with all your one ratings, you can go to filters off, and this is actually a drop down menu that you have, and you can just click this, and you can scroll down to rated, and what that's going to do is it's gonna bring up all your rated images. And this includes all that I've already edited from this trip, plus the few that we added in here. And then from this, like you're dealt a lot less photos that you have to go through and edit and worry about and not have to slog through hundreds and hundreds of photos on a single day. The reason that you quickly go through those photos is that you don't have to go through and edit those later. So if I wanna go back to my library, I'm just gonna go to rated and go to filters off and that's gonna bring up everything that I have in this catalog. Let's say like I'm trying to pick between all of these images, like this golden light at sunset of the mountains and the trees. If I'm trying to fix all of these or decide between all of these, you know, I'm not gonna edit every single one and then choose right after that. What I'm gonna try to do is quickly find the one that immediately catches my eye and that I don't have to second guess. It's that one that I immediately say, I like that, 
and then I can quickly go through and hit one. Now, later, I'm not second guessing that decision. I've made the choice, it's in my favorites, it's rated as a one star. If you wanna like dial this down even more, you can double click here to get that down to the tile view, go to filters off and then select rated. And if you wanna dial this down even more, let's say all the ones that I've already edited, I'm just gonna make a broad selection here. Let's say the blue heron, control click, and then I'm just gonna control click all of these that I've already edited that I really like. And I'm gonna set all of these and I'm gonna hit the five key to set as a five star rating. So now what I can do is I know all the ones that I've already edited out. Let's say I want to go back and like re-edit these or make sure there are no dust spots in them. What I can do is select up here where it says rating I can go to five star and it's just gonna give me all these that are selected as five stars. So I'm just gonna one star these back, hit the one key to make them a one star again. And now I have all my one stars in here. So it's a really easy way of using your star ratings to say, hey, these are the possibility photos. Now these are the expert photos that are five stars. Well, I'm not really sure about this one. I'm gonna make it a one star again. And this is a way to like quickly organize your photos in the Lightroom catalog that helps you to quickly get back to your edits fast, efficiently, and get those photos out to your audience as fast as possible with the edits that you have to make. Don't let Lightroom become a hindrance to you in your photography. Don't get overwhelmed by your photos. This is a fast way to edit those photos and make professional results, get them out to your audience.